as promised every bit <laughs> okay so let's start there here's the deal um, I'm gonna try to do this as um, uncut because I'm pressed for time uh, really had a lot of issues with last um, day one's video which came out today because it was supposed to come out last night but I had technical issues and I'm just gonna do this uncut and if I look like a clown because my big red nose I just I'm having a face issue I just gotta wait for it to clear up it's just it's bad <laughs> as you can see now you can focus on that the whole video um, but anyway today's topic of today's question of Hello Greedo's 30 day Star Wars challenge we got day two which is your all-time favorite character now this is no easy question obviously um, there's a lot of characters in the Star Wars universe ranging from all eras from prequel sequel to original trilogies spin-offs and all and there's plenty of creatures like if we just go to favorite creatures I got a bunch of them like Chewbacca Ponda Baba, Admiral Akbar, especially. Admiral Akbar might be my favorite creature design, as I, and his voice is great. Um, as well as Admiral, Admiral Radis in Rogue One. Um, but when you really focus on favorite character, it has to be somebody you, I think, you find yourself in. Somebody you find the most intriguing and you want to follow and you want to succeed. Now, a lot of people would say Luke Skywalker. Um, a lot of new people, or people who are very into the new films, such as myself, um, would say Ray, or Finn, or Poe, um, and of course, original, you say Han, you say Leia, Ben Kenobi, Darth Vader, like, there's so many characters in Star Wars, it's insane, but for me personally, I think I'm really at a crossroad of a tie, or, you know, a tie, I'm really in a tie between... Luke Skywalker and Rey because very much so and you know to many people's criticisms um, Luke and Rey are in fact very similar characters you know they come from a desert planet they want to do more with their lives and then they're thrust into a journey that ultimately unveils their use of the force and coming into their own and then they'll get a sequel where they train <laughs> with a grumpy old master so but there's a lot of different factors that can separate the two. For example, Ray, I think, is very sweet, passionate, cares for others, but also stands up for herself. And Luke, in A New Hope, and you have to admit this, he starts off pretty whiny, and I don't really find that a bad thing. That's just character progression. And we're gonna, we haven't really seen fully how Ray develops throughout the trilogy. I mean, The Last Jedi comes out in a matter of a month. So that's the point of this challenge. Um, so it's really um, caught in between how you can view these characters, even though you can view them similarly, differently, incomplete, and really that's where you're stuck. But I just find Luke Skywalker to be such an inspiration because he came from such a lesser life and then he came into his own and became one of the greatest Jedi to ever live. And then we see where he ends up by The Last Jedi. Things aren't looking too good, and we'll see where it goes from there. And Rey is only starting out, and she just wants to have a much better life. And hopefully she'll get this, even though she's going to be running into Luke and having all these issues with how Luke is now. So really, one character affects the other. And if my there's a flickering going on, I don't know, it's just weird settings and... I turned down my gain brightness because it was ungodly, like a holy amount of lighting. Um, but anyway, so really I am tied between Luke because Luke is the character I grew up with and love, but Rey is the character that I connected to the most in The Force Awakens, and there is such a big thing. The screen's frozen, I'm sorry, I got bad software, I'm sorry. <laughs> um... So when it comes down to all of it, um, there we go, it's really is a tie. I love Rey. I think she's awesome. She's super cool. Um, I know people say she's way overpowered, but we don't know why she is like that yet. You have to watch the whole trilogy. This is planned out to unveil a bigger, larger story throughout the sequels. And while films should be judged on 
the film alone. I understand that, but that's just something you're going to have to overlook and then focus on the rest of the film, which you can do for Force Awakens. But overall, I think Rey is just a fantastic character. She's definitely a strong female that young women can look up to. I mean, yes, we've had strong females before, like, you know, we've heard mention of um, Ripley from Aliens or Sarah Connor from Terminator, but again, that's those are R-rated films. It's not necessarily for little kids. And yes, we did have Princess Leia. Um, but mainly we were following Luke's story in the original trilogy. But here we're following Rey and she is the main Jedi. And people tend to, you know, fall more towards, ooh, Jedi, cool. Whether you're a boy or a girl. And it's it's really just a huge debate that's gone so out of control and it's just ridiculous ray really is a great character she's fantastic i can't wait to see where she goes i know a lot of other people can't wait either super looking forward to it can't wait to see where luke goes bottom line luke and ray are tied for my favorite star wars characters so with that being said guys why don't you guys let me know in the comments who is your favorite star wars character if you really want to um decide between humans and creatures who's your favorite human character and who's your favorite creature so why don't you guys let me know that in the comments below if you enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe if you're not already and that being said guys hope you have a great day may the force be with you always check back tomorrow for day three